Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope everybody is doing well and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, today we'll be going to cover up an important topic where I will show you how you can share your AWS AMI across different regions within AWS and across different accounts. Now the question is why this is required. So obviously, for example, let's say I'm operating from different region, right? within AWS, one single AWS account. And I want to use my custom AMI installed with set of softwares, updated with the patches, drivers, and everything. So instead of creating image again and again within different region, I would like to use one golden image shared across region and use that image to provision my production environments, right? So that's where this topic is quite important. On the other hand, in terms of sharing this to our different AWS accounts. So for example, we are dealing with development, staging, production, just to make a replica in the lower side of the house, right? Lower side of the environment. So whatever running in the production, whatever image running in the production, the EC2 instances with all set of softwares, drivers, up-to-date patches, I want same kind of image to be replicated in my staging and, and test or development environment just to have a sync between multiple environments so that if I'm getting any issue in the production, instead of doing a troubleshooting at the production site, I would like to have the same troubleshooting done at staging, pre-prod or the development environment. So that's where it's, it becomes very important if you are using an AMI operating from multiple regions, operating from multiple accounts, try to use a golden image, what we call as golden image, a key image from which you are provisioning your systems. So mostly that's the concept behind this uh, particular mechanism of sharing your AMI across region or across AWS account. Let's jump to our AWS management console and we will do a quick demo. So that's my AWS management console. I'm running an EC2 instance called AMI test. So this server is running with Apache, just a test page. Let me show you that. If you hit, you will get a test page. And I have already created an AMI from this particular instance. And again, guys, if you're not aware of how to create an AMI, please watch my previous videos. I will share the link in the description section. But in short, if you want to create an image, then select the instance, go to the actions tab, go to the images and template and click on create image. Give the name of the image, the custom name, then the description. If you are trying to create your image during the production hours, then I would recommend to select this particular option, no reboot, but it's better and advisable to reboot the environment while creating an image, right? So you can take that out during non-production hours like Saturdays or Sundays. And finally you have to create. So this part is already done for me, just for the time saving purpose. Let's go to AMI. So we will be going to share first across region. As you can see, I'm operating from Northern Virginia. I'll try to share this to different region. For that, you have to select the AMI which you want to share. Then click on copy AMI. Now select the destination region, right? Here, if you want to share your uh, AMI from Virginia to Europe or to Asia pack, you can do that. So for example, let's go to Frankfurt. You can give this name as Frankfurt just for the segregation purpose. Description, you can change this or you can leave this as it is. You want to encrypt this EBS snapshot? Yes. So encrypt with the master key, the default one and click on copy AMI. Once you click on copy AMI, as you can see, visit the AMI page in EU Central. And this is the new AMI ID. So I'm going to open up this in a new page. 
okay obviously this will be going to take bit of time to copy across region plus across account not much depend upon size of your ami so this is my frankfurt as you can see region is frankfurt and i am into my ami section of frankfurt so we'll wait for this page to load and you can see all the detail it's getting copied it's in progress and you have all the detail over here so that's how you provision your not provision actually that's how you copy your ami across different region and if you want to copy this ami to different region you can do that as well it's not necessary that you want to copy it from virginia from where the ami was originated right the second part how you can share your ami across different aws account so i have another aws account so let me copy the account id because this is required for me in the info section click on the actions tab and you can see modify image permission that's where you give the account information id of the different aws account for copying this image to different aws account here you have to give the different aws account number and it has to be private to private i prefer private to private just to make sure everything is secure enough to do the sharing and then add create a volume permission you can do that as well because whenever you create an ami from a machine it also create a snapshot which is an ebs volume snapshot whatever associated with that particular instance so click on add permission this is added click on save so i am copying this to virginia because this is from virginia to virginia now let's go to aws account over here as you can see let's go take in a cloud away hyphen 2 is another account we will go to ec2 instance dashboard and we'll navigate to ami section over here it's taking a bit of time just hold on guys click on the ami section as you can see i am in northern virginia so if you see this particular section of ami they are like different options owned by me owned by me is something i have created that image but this is something we have been shared with from different account to this account so click on the drop down we have public images and we have private and if you remember while copying or modifying the permission of this ami image we selected the private images right so click on the private image and you can see the ami test is available in northern virginia now how you want to test this obviously it's not like i have shared the ami and it should behave like same what it was there with the other account so for that we can do a testing how to do that we just have to click on the launch section and also there is another thing to test or look at the owner of this image is the account id 650812 which is my parent account id of aws the source from where i have copied this let me show you that too if we go to this account as you can see this is 909 ending with 3909 and it's the same account id over here which is the owner the source basically okay let's go ahead and click on launch we will test this this is an amazon linux and we'll try to see whether we get the apache page or not in the frankfurt region where we copied the image we'll go with t2 micro this is totally a new instance or new account for me so i don't have anything configured yet i will go with this subnet then public ip click add storage okay tax ami test configure security i don't think so i have anything that's rdp 
that's everything let's go with everything review launch launch uh, I don't think so I have this so I'll create a new one let's skip this let's go tech in cloud TV hyphen to download the key pair and click launch so this is getting launched this will take few seconds less than a minute to uh, show us the health check green 22 meanwhile let's go to our parent account in the Frankfurt region just to check whether the AMI has been copied properly or not okay let's go to Safari where is Frankfurt here we go this has also been copied and you can see the owner is again is the source account from where we have copied the destination is Frankfurt how you can test this you can click on launch I'm going to do the same stuff what I have done with my other account just to show you the AMI has copied all the properties whatever it was there with the previous the original the parent instance configure instance detail I'll go with this one okay this is Frankfurt public enable at storage 8 gigs as you can see delete on termination and I encrypted this okay add the tags name test AMI okay configure security group let's see what do we have okay we have this launch click launch I believe I have this key somewhere but let's see click on launch instance okay again this will take less than a minute to provision properly let's go back to the child account the different account as you can see let's go tech hyphen 2 we have this into the running state although it's doing some check in background let's copy the public IP okay if I have enabled this in background to run Apache by default or I have to start let's see let's wait for this to all right to open address and meanwhile we will also check the security group whether the required ports are open or not okay this is like uh, referring to its own VPC ID, VPC CIDR block, which is, I guess, it's 172 something. I don't remember exactly, but it's there. What we have to do, let's go to the default one. So that's why the site is not getting opened up. It's all internal in terms of the security firewall in the security group. So we will be going to allow port 80 to communicate to the world. Let's edit the inbound rule add let's have uh, HTTP where is that HTTP from anywhere in this world save the rule and we'll be able to see the site now here we go so I enable the service of Apache to run to get started during the boot process as well that's why I don't have to go inside to the server to enable the Apache service so that's the page was there with the parent server within my parent account even if I refresh this I will see the page okay now let's go to our AWS parent account and we'll do the same over here let's open up the address ok 
Okay, it's getting open. Just wait for a few seconds. Yeah, it's going to HTTPS. There we go, we have the Apache page. So as you can see guys, the copying over the shared to different region, it's quite simple. It's a simple process for you to follow. It's not like tough process or it's not like something you have to remember. You just have to configure a few steps and you are done. Depend upon the size of AMI, let's say if it's in terabytes, then obviously it will take time to copy over to different region or different account. Mostly account to account, it's quite fast as compared to region to region. So that's how it looks like, the process looks like for the sharing of AMI between regions and between accounts. So just play it around within your services because this is something that you will be going to interact a lot within your environment and you need this process. Again, I have covered a lot of different automation process as well, but this is kind of a manual process that you can also follow from account to account, from region to region, or you can use EC2 image builder process as a delivery pipeline, which I have covered as part of my previous videos. I'll share the link as well. So play it around, place out a comment in the comment section. If you're facing any issue, I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.